So once you've saved it, um, you want to make sure you've got a minimap. So you go to File and then you go Save Overhead. Um, and that's pretty small. I generally like to double it. Uh, so 512 uh, by 512. Um, and then just choose Playable Area. Um, hit Save. Um, it'll come up in the same place as your scenario. Um, and we're just going to call this one Overhead. We'll play with this in a moment. Uh, hit Save. Um, and now you want to close World Builder. Um, and this is where you want to change all your scenario settings. So I'm just going to call it Test. So copy that. Rename all these. All right, um, and it'll look like this. So you can see the overhead of your map. Um, we need to modify it so that we need to show the starting locations. So you'll need either Photoshop or GIMP or something like that. Anything that can handle .tga files really. And just drag in your map. Um, and this is where you wanna specify where you start. So what you wanna do here is make a new layer. Um, and here, just make a circle with your brush. Generally make it, I usually do it like this. Um, and this will be, generally make it wide actually. So slot one and slot two. When you want to specify like spot one, spot two, make yourself one more layer um, and give it a number. So one. All right, so you've got your starting positions and you've also got like the slots themselves. So we're going to make two saves with this now. We're going to go File, Save As. So we're going to make two saves. We're going to change this file format down to TGA. Um, and we're going to call it, because it's called Test. So it needs to be called Test, underscore Map, underscore Base. Um, so this shows like what it looks like without fixed start locations. Hit Save. It'll come up, choose 32-bit, press OK. Um, so that'll be your first one done. Then turn on your starting positions again. Make sure that they're actually right, by the way, um, based on World Builder. Go File, Save As, and you're gonna do the same kind of thing. Choose TG, uh, Targa, choose Base here, um, and then just rename it from Base to Slots. Um, and hit Save, 32 again. Um, if you go back to Test here, you'll find Base and Slots. And so they have your starting positions on them. All right, so now your map will have a minimap in the in-game lobby before you start the game. Your minimap while you're actually playing is this MM one here. Uh, that's what it'll look like with the sectors on top of it as well. All right, um, now that that's done, uh, you probably want to actually export this as an SGA so that you can then play it in the new um, Steam version of Koch and maybe upload maps onto the, um, the workshop.